So hello, uh, like Ms. Pat said, my name is Manuel Rodriguez and I've been with the CFSI for about seven months already. I started last semester back in September and you know, it's been a really fun and interesting experience because uh, there's a bunch of food that I would not have tried prior to working here or even gotten into cooking bake and slash baking myself. And so currently I'm studying uh, mass communications in my major and I'm doing a concentration in advertising and public relations with a minor in marketing. I'm Yanni Letendeno. Uh, I've been working here since uh, last week. So I'm a little busy now. This is my first event. Uh, last time we made oatmeal cookies, so uh, that was my first time making something. So my major is biology, uh, concentration in biological science. Um, so I definitely really like this job because it really helps me address my own food insecurity <laughs> and it helps me learn new recipes. I love this dip. I, I didn't know like like this many vegetables can make something good. You know? <laughs> so um, I'm really stoked that you guys are here to try out what we need. So today we're going to be making our spicy garbanzo dip and if all of you know this there's recipe cards on your table that Shows you, you know, the ingredients and preparation and just uh, servings and all that kind of stuff that you need to make it. Just so start off here. On here we have carrots. And so these are going to have to be peeled and then rinsed so, you know, they're clean. So you're going to want to chop them up to about one inch pieces, half inch like this. And then you want to introduce it or put it into your food processor, which you'll also need a bite. Up next is going to be our jalapenos, and then the last thing that we'll put in before we crush up our jalapenos and carrots in the processor is our garlic. This is about three large cloves, so how much we need for this recipe. I think that should be the garlic. It will blend up very well. Okay, so to blend it up for just a little bit, then you'll want to add your other stuff. So here we have some cilantro that I pre-chopped. Let me spread it around just a little bit. And then up next, oh, okay, so the next So it's for the main ingredient. It's going to be our garbanzo beans. I'm going to put it in here. So and then the next I'm going to add, but this is about a half teaspoon of salt. It's a little too small, but in case anybody can see. About a half teaspoon of salt. The same for the our pepper flakes just because jalapenos are a little mild um, so we're going to add some red pepper flakes to taste just to give it a little more of a, a kick to it and then we're going to add in our lemon juice the extra virgin olive oil we're going to add in next and if you notice, there's one bowl I haven't touched yet that's going to be our garbanzo bean water. But I'm going to wait to add that and see how the consistency of this turns out before I add it in. Let's check up on it. Yeah, so I'm going to have some of that water just to help it get um, better incorporated in the processor. And also, because uh, we're making such a big amount or such a large batch, the processor is going to need a little help in putting everything on the on the bottom. So, you want to get a spatula like I'm doing, you just scrape the sides and bring the bottom, the stuff on the bottom to the top. And, uh, Yeah, it tastes pretty good. I would have, I'm going to add just a little more salt, but and maybe a touch more of the pepper, too. And now uh, here we but got the samples. Oh, there. I thought this was very delicious. Um, I think it would be a good post-workout, especially when you need to get more carbs and uh, more of your fats to recover. Um, so yeah, I think it's really delicious. I would say it's 10 out of 10. More heat for those who like the hot. Um, 
perfect for those that are, that are not into the super spicy. All right, so I thought this was gonna be pretty spicy, but it actually tastes pretty good. It's a perfect dip that I can use at home.